from Roman Primary School, so here we'll still be at Organic Chemistry and Chapter 1, Classification of Organic Compounds. So here we'll still be solving the most basic chemistry questions. But wait, let me ask you, what will we be learning in the future? So, there's some of them. But actually there's a lot of them, so for energy, there is heat energy, aka thermal energy, there's free energy, two types, and then there's bond energy, there's also activation energy, last but not least, internal energy. And then, we've, other than energy, we also have heat capacity. One, of course, that's heat capacity. Another one is specific heat capacity. Third one is the third one. It is the specific heat capacity was constant volume. The fourth one, specific heat capacity was constant pressure. Then after that, there's the enthalpy change, entropy change, and then last but not least, there's also the chemical potential. Then for this one, oh, over here we have a question. So for this question, by the way, before that, what are we learning now? We're learning about the, which one? The covalent bond or the ionic bond? Now we're still at the ionic bond. But uh, over here we have to learn under the covalent bond, which is that what we'll learn in the future. And then for this part, uh, let's see for this question now. So for this question, it is calculate the current required to deposit 145 grams of gold from gold chloride, tetra gold chloride, I mean the tetra chloro gold, the other that from Tetrachloral gold solution in A. 225 minutes. B. 4 hours. So let's see for this part. First, what's the ionic equation? What's the equation then? Okay, so it is actually the tetrachloral gold. Oh, wait a second before that. Why is there a minus here? Why is there this? It is because that gold, there's two cases. One is, there's one, one electron in the outermost layer. Another is that there is three. But what does to get as the three one? They are over here. If there are four of them, first one of them, you have missed out one of the electrons, right? Means that you have seven on the outermost layer. Then after that, for this part, since there are four of them, so four missing. But here you have three of them, so we got one missing for this part, okay? So what will happen if you add three of the electrons? Now, you give it to this part, and then it will become not an equals. It will become gold plus for this, like this, okay? Then for this part, oh, you actually can finish this in one step. But wait, let me ask you a question. For this part, actually, even if you can finish in one step, but actually, it's a lot of steps combined together. Plus, this part is a aqueous, while for this it's become a solid, while this is still aqueous. So for this part, now over here, let's start first. One four five grams. Then after that, there is the. So over here, this part one is for it. It's actually one nine seven. But wait, what's this part? This. 
is the number of moles Like this, okay? Then after that, here you have times what? Oh, here we need three of them. So, you need times three. So this part, it is the number of moles of electrons. The over here you still have to times the Avogadro's number. When you six times ten to the power of twenty-three, whereas you also can say six point zero three, whereas you get a little bit different answer. But that's it. Both of them are correct. Because it's just the Avogadro's number. Then what's this part? So for this whole part, it is the number of electrons. Then what if you times 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. Then, oh wait, this part, this is actually the E. So it means that this whole thing, what is it? It's the charge, right? Now after that, you the whole thing have to divide by the time, where as shown here, two to five minutes. But here, you use seconds, so still the time is on 60. So this whole thing is the cut. Whereas it will equals to, a little bit long. So you will need a calculator. It is a, approximately 15.7 unit ampere, like this, okay? So for this part, let me just say again, for this, you first have the grams, right? Let me just tell you this bracket, just bracketing this whole fraction. Then after that, for this part is the, for the most, for the, Go. So over it, you get number of moles of go. Then after that, you have to time the three in order to get the electrons. As here, you need three of them. So it's for the electrons. Then for this part, you time the Avogadro's number. So or if you divide by it, it will become the moles. If you don't, if you time it, then it will, it will reverse it. And then after that, 1.6 okay so over here this part it will times this e the letter e that one but not really the e so it's 
So it's the other E, whereas it will make up the charge. Then it will over the time, of course, charge over time, current. As thus, the current equals to the charge over the time. So now, for this part, let's do it for the second part. So, oh, that I'll just erase. So, uh, for this part, I'll explain it while I'm going to have this space. So, over here, for this first part, it's still 145 over 197. Because the only difference is the current, so let me just first write the rest. Again, the Avogadro's number. So this, again, number of moles of gold. Then this part, number of moles of electrons. Then number of electrons. Current. Then finally, this is the charge, not current. Then finally, current. Okay, so if this, it's just our time 60 minutes, need seconds. So I need to time another 60. So basically, it's still the same way, this part, it's just that the time is different, so it will become different. Then over here, let me just use the calculator here. So it is. Like this, okay? Alright, so for this part, first, we've learned about how to calculate it in one step. In the past, you've already had, like over here is the mass, then 1.5 grams, then over here become number of moles of gold, then become on this part, and then number of moles of electrons times 3, but wait, isn't that way too long so you can do it in one step? Plus, if you do it like that, best don't calculate it one by one. Because if you calculate it one by one, you're going to fail. For sure. So, now, over here we'll end it here for the next lesson. We'll still be continuing with this kind of question. So, for this part, I'll just tell some extra things. Whereas this tetrachloral gold is actually... As I said, it's the aqueous, but wait, this part is given to this gold, not this part, okay? So now, oh, that. So now we'll end here. If you like our videos, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Tune in for more. Last but not least, thank you for your watching.